So I'm back again talking about one of my favorite nootropics of all time, and that is Bromantane. Bromantane has literally changed my life, and it's also changed the lives of many guys that I've worked with over the years. Now, Bromantane is a unique substance that has the ability to upregulate dopamine production in the long run. And so in today's video, what I'm going to do is actually share with you unique effects of Bromantane, and we'll dive deep into how this particular compound or synthetic adaptogen actually works to upgrade your overall health and vitality. Now, bear in mind, of course, none of this is medical advice. Please consult your healthcare professional before making any changes to your lifestyle or routine. And this is purely for informational purposes only. So what is bromantane? Well, bromantane is a unique pharmaceutical compound originally developed in Russia during the 1980s. Now, it belongs to a class of drugs known as actoprotectors, which are agents designed to improve physical and mental performance under extreme conditions without significant side effects. Now, bromantane has received attention for its distinct properties that combine mild psychostimulant effects with anxiolytic or anti-anxiety effects, which is relatively rare among performance-enhancing substances. Now, bromantane is an atypical psychostimulant and an anxiolytic drug of the adamantine family related to amantadine and memantine. Now, you're probably wondering now how does bromantane actually work in the brain to provide you with that boost in cognition, energy, and vitality. Now, bromantane has been shown to possess anti-asthenic effect which basically improves overall work capacity. Think think of a pre-workout without the jitters, side effects, or any come down or crash. It also increases resistance to overheating, and it contributes to the restoration of working capacity after physical loads. This is why it was actually banned in the Olympics or banned by WADA because it's actually a very well-known performance-enhancing drug. Um, Bear in mind, if you do want to purchase Bromantane, it will be linked down below in the video description that is purely for informational purposes and for research purposes only. It possesses combined stimulative and anxiolytic effects, increases physical and intellectual working capacity, it inhibits the development of fatigue processes, and accelerates restoration under common conditions and conditions complicated by hypoxia and hypothermia. So hypoxia being in a low oxygen environment and hypothermia, which is in a hot climate. Bromantane stimulates the synthesis of cytochrome P450 and thus facilitates detoxing liver functions and reduces the hypnotic effect of thiopental sodium. So it reduces the... Um, hypnotic effects of certain drugs. Now, bromantane administration in therapeutic doses is characterized by the almost full absence of side effects, including manifestations of withdrawal syndrome and hyperstimulation. This is something that I noticed when I used bromantane. I never noticed any real side effects apart from slight disruptions in my sleep. Um, And this is because bromantane can actually, it makes me feel so energetic that I actually struggle to fall asleep. Now, although it's frequently labeled as a psychostimulant, bromantane is distinctive in its pharmacology and effects relative to typical psychostimulants such as phenethylamines, such as amphetamine and its derivatives, and their structural analogs such as methylphenidate, cocaine, and mesocarb, etc., whereas the latter directly act on the dopamine transporter to inhibit the reuptake and or induce the release of dopamine, bromantane instead acts via indirect genomic mechanisms to produce a rapid, pronounced, long-lasting upregulation in a variety of brain regions of the expressions of tyrosine hydroxylase and aromatic alamino acid decarboxylase And so, for instance, a single dose of bromantane produces a 2 to 2.5 increase in tyrosine hydroxylase expression in the rat hypothalamus 1.5 to 2 hours post-dosage. 
Enhancement of dopaminergic neurotransmission is observed in the hypothalamus, striatum, ventral tegmental area, nucleus accumbens, and other brain regions. As such, the key mechanism of pharmacological activity of the psychostimulant effects of bromantane is activation of de novo synthesis of dopamine via modulation of gene expression. So this is pretty phenomenal. I mean, this is outstanding. Looking at how bromantane has also been found to lower the levels of pro-inflammatory cytokines such as interleukin-6, interleukin-17, and IL-4, and to normalize behavior in animal models of depression and may possess clinical efficacy as an antidepressant. It has also been found to increase sexual receptivity and proceptivity in both in, in males and female rats, which was attributed to its dopaminergic effects. So many of you have heard about prolactin. Prolactin is not good for men if they have high levels. Bromantane can actually reduce prolactin levels over time due to its dopaminergic properties, which is phenomenal. So what are the main uses for bromantane? Well, increasing energy, reducing anxiety, reducing fatigue, promotes learning and memory and improves movement coordination. Now it is approved for the treatment of neurasthenia in Russia um, and it may help to relieve fatigue and anxiety. So it is definitely a unique substance and we can see these unique effects here um, that it's, you know, it's, a, it's an atypical psychostimulant um, without exhausting the body. That's a really critical point here is that um, it doesn't actually deplete the body like caffeine or nicotine or um, some other stimulants. Um, and ha it also has low peripheral sympathetomimetic effects. So there's no signs of dependence and withdrawal symptoms were found. So if we're looking at dosages, actually what I've seen work well for myself over the years has been low doses. Even though in, in the studies you'll see dosages used around 50 to 100 milligrams. Personally, I can receive a lot of benefit from even as, far, as low as 10, 5 to 10 milligrams. Um, and that, that is enough to induce increases in energy and the typical dopamine effects. Here's a word of caution though for athletes. Um, after the breakup of the Soviet Union in 1991, bromantane uh, continued to be researched and characterized but was mainly limited to use uh, in use to sports medicine. In 1996, it was encountered as a doping agent in the 1996 Summer Olympics when several Russian athletes tested positive for it and it was subsequently placed on the World Anti-Doping Agency banned list in 1997 as a stimulant and a masking agent. So just a word of caution if you are a professional athlete. So again, if you want to purchase Bromantane, they'll be linked down below in the video description. If you did enjoy this video, please like the video and hit subscribe to stay up to date with the latest and greatest health research. That's it from me today. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.